welcome back, it's Xenia. Today I'm going to do a newbie tag, or one of those tags. I combined two tags and wrote out some of the questions, so let's see what happens. The first question is where are you joining us from? And originally I am from Russia, um, but I've lived in Stockholm for the past two years, so Stockholm, Sweden, I guess. The second question is what is the meaning behind your channel? I really love of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck and yeah <laughs> there is no grand meaning. I came up with this title like two three years ago when I tried to write a blog and failed but the name stuck. The next question is what type of books do you read and want to talk about on this channel? I have read almost only classics up until maybe two years ago around the time I moved to Stockholm and so I have a very big collection of classics I'd like to talk about. I love them, I've read a lot, and there are books that aren't very well known that I think should be well known, so I will try to make them known. We'll see. I really, really want to talk about Russian authors a bit more, because people know the names maybe, but not many reviews are on booktube, so I will try to talk more about Russian classics. I've started reading more contemporary as I moved to Stockholm. I don't know if there's a connection here. No idea, but it happens like this. Out of contemporary, I love magical realism. I love literary fiction. I like really sad books. What does it say about me? I don't know, but I like sad books. Yeah, I'm trying to read more nonfiction, more uh, graphic novels, just more. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to read more. That's that's a good summary, I guess. The next question is, where do you read? Everywhere. On the bus, on the balcony, at home on the couch, while waiting for appointments. I have this habit of taking a book with me wherever I go, which my friends make fun of me, but I just do it. Even if I know I won't have time to read, I will still take a book with me. The next question is what book or series got you into reading? And I think my answer will be very mundane, it's Harry Potter, as I think it happened with many other people before me. I'm not really sure if I read before Harry Potter because I read it at 9, so I don't remember reading. Maybe I was, I'm not sure. But yeah, I started reading way more after Harry Potter. And at first it was novels based on charmed show. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm not ashamed to admit. Yes, I read those. And then I had a very interesting period of my life where I read only Stephen King. And I think I was around 13 or 12, so I don't read him now at all, but I still, I, I love those books I read when I was younger. Okay, the next question is what challenges do you think you'll face with your channel? So I am terrified of editing the video and noticing all the mistakes I've made, all the grammar mistakes, and not being able to correct them. Oh, I think that's the biggest challenge. I mean, obviously there will be others, but so far that's my only concern. <laughs> and also there's a question, what are you most excited for about this channel? Obviously, like everybody else, I'm super excited to talk about books, to find like-minded people, to share, to discuss books. I'm very, very excited. I hope that will happen. Okay, the question that I really like is what do you use for bookmarks? And I really, really love bookmarks. I have a huge stack of them right here. As you can see, there's a lot of them. Some of them are the ones that my friends gave me. Hi, friends. <laughs> Some of them are pictures. Hi, friends again. I buy lots of bookmarks from the museums, like these and many 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 more okay the last question for today is where else can we find you and you can find me on twitter on instagram and of course goodreads so that's it for today thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you next time bye